people are attending Endeavour Fund Awards Ceremony at Goldsmiths Hall in the City of London. It's the first evening engagement the happy couple have attended together. Meghan opted for a McQueen trousers suit, one of the Duchess of Cambridge's favourite designers. She's still finding her feet as she settles into life as a member of the royal family, and this evening Meghan Markle was careful not to tread on any toes as she opted for an understated black trouser suit for her first official evening event with Harry. Perhaps mindful of William and Kate's high-profile visit to Scandinavia, the former suit star was careful not to compete with the Duchess of Cambridge who was enjoying a gala dinner at Oslo's Royal Palace at the same time as Meghan stepped out in London for the Endeavour Awards. The bride-to-be opted for a slick tailored number by Alexander McQueen, one of the Duchess of Cambridge's favourite designers teamed with a £196 silk crepe to kind boss Bodhi suit from Tux Bodhi Wear, which is a top and underwear in one. Meanwhile in Oslo, the Duchess was also sporting a McQueen creation of a very different kind wearing a dreamy Grecian-style blush gown with crystal embellishment, jaw-dropping diamond earrings and the bracelet the Queen wore on her wedding day. Celebrity stylist and designer Lucas Armitage told Female that Meghan's choice of outfit for her red carpet event proves she was mindful not to steal the attention away from the Duchess. She hasn't had her princess moment in an amazing gown, but then maybe she felt she didn't want to steal thunder, he explained. Navigating royal etiquette is probably fairly hard so playing it safe is always a good option. In keeping with her understated approach, Meghan also chose not to wear her hair up which would have added to the overall glamour of her look. Instead, she kept things simple, letting her sleek, dark curls fall loosely around her shoulders. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are attending an awards ceremony to celebrate the achievements of wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women. The engaged couple will meet the nominees, who have taken part in sporting and adventure challenges, at Goldsmiths Hall in the City of London. They will then attend the annual Endeavour Fund Awards Ceremony, where three prizes will be awarded, including the Henry Worsley Award. The prize is named after the late explorer, who died in January 2016, just 30 miles from completing a solo crossing of the Antarctic. Lieutenant Colonel Worsley, a career soldier and veteran polar adventurer, had been raising money for the Endeavour Fund on the expedition. The fund is a project led by the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry, which aims to help servicemen and women through physical challenges.